yep. people. Yep. I'm just trying to address your claim sure, sure, that sure, Jesus sure. Christ was substituted on the cross. Yep. It doesn't medically make sense. Yep. It was blood and it was water. This can only yep. be cardiac arrest. Yep. It must be the same Jesus. You're saying it's different. How do you... Oh, no, you're not preaching it. So <laughs> relax. Yeah, cardiac arrest. Yeah. Where did you get the resurrection from? It's from the Bible? Yeah, of course. You Especially believe? in 15, the Apostle Paul says 500 people saw the resurrected Christ. Okay, I got you. And you're saying it's I only... Got you. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Go I got you. I got you. If you wanted to say, if you, if you, if somebody, if somebody wants to laugh, it's a free country. Relax. All right. Well, so now I believe in free countries, but I, I don't. We don't believe in free countries. Who no, told you that? No, you cannot westernize the Quran. Wait, who who said westernize the Quran? You who said westernize the Quran. You can't. Wait, I'm sorry. Anybody hear? Anybody hear me? Hear them? We will publish wherever we like. No, because listen, you have to listen. Ask we don't. It's public space. Right. Listen. Go look up your laws. Did I say westernize the Quran? Did anybody hear that? Uh, crazy. crazy. Really? Maybe you have earring issues, bro. I don't have, have you got it checked? If you no, no, no. Quran, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Have you had your ears checked? Topic, but, but you said I said westernize the Quran. I never said that. But why do you think you're doing no, no, this? No, no, no. What I'm saying, please speak accurately. Now you said about the resurrection. In the Bible. Be a part of the Dawah team. Like, subscribe, share, comment. You got to do your part for the da'wah. Bible in Matthew. Now, after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to the tomb. Is that correct? Yeah, sure. You believe in the Bible or no? You yeah. don't seem sure anymore. You're like, yeah, sure. Well, Are you sure? Because in discussions like this, yeah. we have to, you know, I wouldn't do injustice with the Quran. I wouldn't just show you. But this is a Bible. Time. We have to read the whole content. I'm reading it. I'm reading it. But do you believe in the Bible? Yeah, I believe in the resurrection. Okay. Okay. I believe it was the women who went to the tomb. Yeah. First. The two Marys, right? Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. Yeah, is that correct? Sure. Okay. So everybody paying attention? Yeah. He agrees. Two Marys went to the tomb and... Go ahead. You need glasses? I got you. I'm, I'm all good. Okay, good. I'm just uh, offering, bro. Don't get offended. You want me to read it out loud? I'm just very passionate, but I'm... I like passion. Because <laughs> I'm a Muslim, bro. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You want me to read it or...? No, no, please. I want okay. to hear uh, your point. I can't no, no. answer everything, but I want to... I don't ask you to answer everything. Right. The discussion with the resurrection of Jesus, right? Yeah, yes, okay, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. And, okay, so the two Marys, Mary Magdalene, and other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake. Mm. For the angel of the Lord descended from the heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. Agree? So far, you good? Mm. Oh, you agree or no? No, no, I'm, I'm listening. Like, I'm no, no, listening but I'm asking listening. a question. This is the Bible. You said it's perfect. Word of God, you believe in it. So this, this is correct or no? Yeah. I don't want to just continue. I want to make sure we make progress. Sure, so. sure. Okay, so you agree. His countenance was like lightning and his clothing was white as snow. And the guards shook in fear of him and became like dead man. But the angel answered and said to the woman, he spoke to the women as well. Right? We agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. In the same... No, no, hold on, hold right. on. But the angel answered and said to the woman... Right, to so one of huh? the Marys, do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. Agreed, okay. that's what it says. He is not here, for he is risen. Wow. So he's resurrected. He's resurrected. This is your Bible. Okay, do you believe he was resurrected? I do not. But, but it says I, here he was resurrected. I don't believe in the As Bible. As he said, come, see the place. Okay, I understand that. Okay. But okay. come, see the place. As he said, uh, where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from death. And who said that? Okay. Who said so that? I think the angel said that. You think? It's right there. Okay, cool. Okay, gotcha. All right. Okay, keep going. And indeed, he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to bring his disciples' word. And so they go, they speak to the disciples, they will see. I got you. You done? Just reading more for my sake. Read up. You don't have a Bible at home? I do. All I right. do, but I don't usually engage in these All right. uh, well. discussions. So Keep going. Now, while they were going, behold, some of the guard came into the city and reported to the chief priests all that had happened. Okay, so some of the guards came into the, guard. the city. Okay. All right. So some of the guards, so that's guards. what we were discussing. Guards. Yeah. Like the people who guard. When they had assembled with the elders and consulted, well, they gave a large amount of money to the soldiers, saying, tell them. His disciples came at night and stole him away while they slept. Are we done? Okay. All right. Okay. You want to keep going? I got you. Okay, so the disciples saw 
Christ. The resurrected Jesus. Okay. No, no, no. Let's take it from the beginning. So Mary and another Mary no, went. No, no, but they saw the resurrected Jesus. I got it right there. I, I, then I, the I, eleven I'm, disciples went away into Galilee. I just said, let's Jesus. take it from the beginning. Yeah, sure. Okay. But we also so, have to go to the end to see the whole passage. You got the whole passage? Yeah, sure. Okay. Now, this is in Luke. Now, the first day of the week, early in the morning, they and certain other women. Yeah, yeah, sure. So earlier it was two Marys. Now it's certain other women. Yeah, this is, this came is. to the tomb bringing spices, which they had prepared, but they found the stone rolled away. Yeah, absolutely. So where's the angel? So, okay. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I can't. You can't? Okay. The name yeah. of the gospel is, uh -huh. right? Actually, open up the passage again. Open okay, up the there you are. Oh, the angels are right here, verse 24, All right. verse 4. And it happened as they were greatly perplexed about this, that behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Okay. Then, as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Gotcha. He is not here, but he has risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying, There we go, the Son of Man must so be delivered. So these are two angels now. Two angels. Like, yes. Earlier it was one angel. Let's go back. Well, let's go back. Well, sorry, Mike, sorry. I got you. I didn't even get to the actual question yet, but we're going to... We're going to enjoy this conversation. And behold, a great earthquake happened, and an angel of the Lord. One angel. Now, the question I actually have is... Was it in, one angel or was it two angels? That's not the question. The question is... You just brought that up, thank you. Yeah, that, sure. that is a problem as well. In this verse, when they came, the stone was already gone. Right. In the earlier verse, they came, and the stone is there, and angels descend and sits on the stone. Right. And then rolls it away. So was the stone already rolled away, or was it still there when the Marys went there? Right. Notice the text also says, uh -huh. um, yes. in the other text, that yes. there is an inconsistency. There, oh. There's a contradiction. I'm agreeing with you. Shake my... Okay, but I agree with you. There's no, an inconsistency. No, no, I'm Thank not, you. No, thanks. But you just said it. Yes. Okay. The Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Uh-huh. Okay. The nature of the Gospels is eyewitness accounts. Okay. Not the Word of God. It is the Word of God. There is okay. no either or there. Okay, let me ask you then. But historically, they are huh? eyewitness accounts. Let me ask Now, you. I have to continue. Okay, please, go ahead. But then when I speak, so, you're going to let me course, speak. Of okay, course. go. And if I right. don't interrupt me. Thank you. But they are eyewitness accounts. So the nature of an eyewitness account, right, when you have a homicide squad, they have a crime, the first thing that they say, right, hmm? Please, I feel it's condescending. I, 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 I make a point. I, I'm, I'm going with your the point. The first I, thing that they do is yeah. they separate. I think this is condescending, but I'm letting so, you do it. Okay. Well, if it insults you, tell me. I can it's okay. Go ahead. You can insult me all you want. I'm, Keep going. All right. Homicide. So, when there's a homicide murder, the first thing that they do is they separate the witnesses. Okay. Okay. Because they don't want collaboration. They don't want the story to get mixed up. They don't want this. They don't want that. Okay? They don't want errors. Now, when you... Absolutely. They want error. Okay? Not necessarily they error. They don't want They error. want contradiction. No, no. They don't want the witnesses to be together. Okay, I get it. They don't want the witnesses to be gotcha. together. Now, from the beginning, when we understand the historicity of the New Testament, mm -hmm. it's called Testament. It's called, you know, like, accounts. it's my Testament. These are my accounts, right? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. So, historically, when we see discrepancies like this, right? When we see contradictions like this, this vindicates the Gospels historically as eyewitness accounts. We know that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John did not come together and make a story that makes sense. They were separated just like the separation that happens when a murder has occurred. We would expect contradictions because they are eyewitness accounts. So when you show up these texts, right, and you say, oh, one angel here, Mary there, Mary that, this is great for me because it Excellent. helps me understand that the Gospels were no, th there wasn't anything behind the scenes. This is the nature, in other words, of eyewitness accounts. So this is what I would say for the moment, according to my knowledge. Okay. Did you finish? Yes. I didn't want to interrupt you. No, I Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, for example, in, in the beautiful example that you gave, there was a homicide right now. And this brother said, because the police separated them, right. that I was wearing a purple thought. Oh, shit, I have to... Uh, don't cuss, no, bro. No, no, you used to watch your language. Ahead, like, like Christian. No. Right. So, if I was, he said I was wearing purple. Yeah, right? sure. Now, from human nature, he might say he was wearing gray. Of course. And he might say I was wearing black. Right. What am I wearing? Uh, you're wearing gray. Gray. 
So he's right, and those two are wrong. Right. Human nature, people right. make mistakes. If you say that's the case of the Gospels, that means there's clear error. Because either A, the stone was already rolled away, mm. or B, it was still there. One of those two has to be an error. Mm. They both... <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I, uh, can I... I can laugh, but these no, 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 are no, I, witness I, accounts. Right. So one, of them, so one of them, as human error, right. saw something or accounted something incorrectly. Right. That happens in human account. So do we agree that some of them are going to have eyewitness error because that's human nature? The example that you gave uh -huh. is strong enough, I believe. Why not? Why? Because someone, okay, is in clear error. Someone is clearly okay. seen so, great. If, if it's okay. if a different story, if somebody comes up to you and hurts you physically, someone might say, or he was punched, or he was kicked, but they would agree that good you were point. hurt physically, but just like the gospel. Good, they good. all agree on the major facts. So let's use your major example. Facts are difficult because that's the nature of I. Let's use accounts. your example. One said I got punched. One said I got kicked. Right. What What really happened? You tell me. We only have those. I know. I, I know. But, but what's the reality? Life? Well, We're not talking about witness. Let, let, so, the so reality in, is that he got hurt. No, no, but right. did I get punched? Yeah, that's did, the did I get difference. punched? Did I get punched or kicked? The, the reality. In the example. So, so in the example, right. let's say I got punched. Right. Okay? Now, one person said he got punched. One person said he got kicked. Right. But the reality is that I got punched. Okay. okay but the reality now, is that the person who said you got kicked is also correct because he saw you get but hurt. But I didn't get kicked. No, but you got hurt. But I didn't get kicked. The nature of eyewitness accounts okay. is that I, not every I agree with fact. You. I, so, you so agree with I agree with you that that's the nature of eyewitness accounts. There you go. So okay, you so let me, let me finish. Then. Let me finish. finish. So the one who said he got kicked is incorrect. No, that is, it's let, me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. All right? When you say eyewitness accounts, I, what I agree with you on is people make errors right. because they're looking at something through their own perspective. Some right. people don't have as good of a memory. Right. I agree with you there. But I believe God is perfect. And that which has error is not the word of God. So if somebody said I got kicked when the reality is I got punched, that's an no, error because that is not a fact. I did not get kicked. Okay. Now, let me finish. Go ahead. All right. Now, when you say there were two Marys, Another says there was a group of Marys, and one says there was one Mary. One says that there were two angels after the fact. One says a single angel came. And the most important of that there is if one says they got there and the stone was still there, and then an angel came and an earthquake happened, and then the, the stone was rolled away. And then the other says, can I finish? You're interrupting me, right? You're interrupting me? Are you interrupting me? Continue. Thank you. And the other says they got there, and the stone's already gone. So one of those has to be an error because either A, they got there and the stone was there, or B, the stone was gone. Either A, an angel came and sat on the stone, or B, there was no angel, stone was already gone. Both cannot be correct. And when you have that, that's not the word of God. That is the accounts of people, just like the homicide case, some of those witnesses are going to be mistaken. And that's why we don't just go by them blindly. So... Quran is perfect, the word of God. No inconsistencies, no inaccuracies, sure. no hist I'm sure. Have you read it? I've read enough. Uh, have you found a single mistake? Well, I want to address <laughs> one point and then I'll right. come back to this. So I've already addressed this point. Okay, but I just want to say something. Quick. Go ahead. The error here, error here is assurance for me. Because if everything in the Matthew, Mark, Luke, John was... Correct. If everything aligned, I would expect that the disciples did something behind our back. Really? Were they like evil people? Like they were doing no, something? No, but... So why would, why would they be doing something behind your no, back? because if every detail aligned perfectly... Right. Maybe, the maybe it's the word of God and God protected it. No, I can it. explain. Yeah. If everything aligned perf perfectly, historically, there is room for doubt because is, that's corrupt. Is this a history book or the word it's, of God? It's both. It's both. Can the word of God have an error? Historically, when there are eyewitness accounts, again, you're not viewing the Gospels through the lens of eyewitness accounts. So, so then not it's not the Word of detail. God. Yes, it absolutely listen, is. Listen, listen, listen. Your contradiction okay. that I'm, you I'm gonna let me you finish. reassures me that these Gospels are genuine because they didn't collaborate behind the scenes. So there's... Okay, first thing, 
Just because somebody gets it right doesn't mean they collaborated, right? That, that's just a false narrative. But the point is, if it's the words of God, then God would perfectly protect it to be as it is. I'm not if, arguing if, a theological if, truth. If, I'm arguing here is historical truth. Exactly. If it's a, book exactly. Of, it's a book of history that is tainted with people's inaccuracies, then that's not the word of God. No, the word of God is perfect. The accounts of people are mistaken. If me and you agree that the, that the accounts here do have inconsistencies, errors, because somebody said there was a rock. Because they are eyewitness accounts. So one of them is wrong. No. So was there a rock or no? That's not. Was the rock there or no? Study how historians, was medical people, the rock look at eyewitness accounts. There. You can keep asking or no. this question. But you're not going to answer it. Right? Because you don't have an answer. The main facts. Okay. The main facts. Right. Okay. Harry Habermas calls this the minimal facts argument. When it comes to eyewitness accounts, not every single little detail has to align because we don't expect it to align. It, the word of God we do. Eyewitness account. The word of God is perfect. Everything aligns, nothing is out of shape. Okay. Because that is the difference between the words of men and the words of God. Okay. Now my only question to you, if we're going to continue this, is one question. Was the rock there or was it already rolled away? Historically, these are eyewitness accounts. I didn't ask you that. Right. Did, did anybody the hear my question? And the, yeah, was that yeah. my question? And the minor oh, fact. Was that my question? No, 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 no. But the main. I'm going to ask Jesus Christ died I'm gonna, and rose from the dead. I'm going to ask that you one more time. I'm going to ask you once again. This is the question here. This is my question. When Mary Magdalene or the two or the many went there, was the rock there or was it already rolled away? One accounts is you, one thing. Historic. Which one was it? The other accounts is one thing. Historic. Which one was it? All right. Which one was it? The, ma the little facts. Which one was it? Uh, you're not answering. No, you're asking a black and white question. Yes, a very people. black and white question. Yeah, yes, yes, I do. It's simple. Okay. When now, it now, history, now, let me tell you this. It's not that simple. If you agree that you don't even know what happened when they I went, do, because the was the rock facts, there or not? That's a little fact. <laughs> that's not... Do you fact. know if the rock was there or not? Do you understand what I'm saying? No. It's a minimal listen, fact. Listen, was... Because you're biased. No, I'm no, not listen, biased. Listen, listen, listen. You're not biased, right? Okay. Very simple question. Just, just, just answer. How you look at history. No, no, no. In reality, I, I agree with you. I agree. That's not how you look at history. Because history. You're, you're talking to them or me? Are you talking to them or me? Okay, there you go. It's okay. Talk to me. Main facts agree that he okay. rose from the dead. Once again, study this. History, history is tainted. History is written by the victor. History disagrees. History is filled with lies. Like just let, let, me, let me finish. Let me, Okay, show me one. Bring me a Quran. Bring me a Quran. Quran, just bring me a Quran. Any Quran. Bring. Talk to me. Talk to me. Don't talk to them. It's so black and white. Here is the Quran. Show me one inconsistency. Here. Here, here, here is the Quran. Show me one inconsistency. One inconsistency. Show me one. Well, the Quran doesn't say that. Show me in the Quran. No, no, no. Show me in the Quran an inconsistency between the Quran, not between the Bible. Show me one. I can't. You can't? You there you go. Verses. Oh, excuse me. Show you. me one. I can, but I can't pinpoint you to verses. So how can you show it to me if you can't pinpoint can a verse? Show, many in, can show me one. The main inconsistency in the Quran. Okay. Right. Between the Quran, not the Bible now, right? Well, first of all. Because I showed it to you between the Bible. I didn't say this inconsistency with the Quran. No, but you're looking at history. And I'm not looking at history. I'm looking at divine revelation. No. What I'm saying is not a theological truth. So Jesus didn't get resurrected. That's a theological truth. But, but that, you I just said you're not saying that. No, my argument was a historical truth. You have okay. to separate. So God are there historical falsehoods in the Bible? Are there historical falsehoods in the Bible? Yes. Uh, you <laughs> you're have stuck. To show me. You're st I just showed it to you. <laughs> no. I just showed it to you for the last half hour. Okay, and I responded to that. But are I, there historical no. inaccuracies, falsehoods? W could it be that the stone was there and wasn't there, or is one of them an incorrect account? Okay, I will repeat this for the last time. Please make it the last time. Sure. Okay. okay. Remember, you said the last time, so go ahead. Not respectful, but I will. Okay. How is it not respectful? Gary Habermas goes through, his, through this in his book. You're looking at them. You're not even looking at me. Of course I'm, look, I'm looking I thought at you, you. I thought we were talking. Okay, that's fine. Gary Habermas goes through this in his book, and he outlines the minimal facts argument. The nature of eyewitness testimony is that not all the minimal facts have to align just like in any court case. 
with our witnesses. The main thing is that the main facts align. Okay? Women at the tomb, this woman, that woman, that's a minimal fact. But what are the main facts? Every eyewitness testifies that Jesus was not in the tomb altogether. That's the nature of eyewitness testimony. It's not so black and white. There are contradictions because that's history. That's eyewitness testimony. There are contradictions. In any, in any okay. case, Jay right. Warner Wallace points this out. You can look I'll let up. you finish. Gary Habermas points this out in his book. You can point them out. So he, this gentleman now showing me contradictions in the Bible reassures me, if anything, that these are eyewitness testimony accounts because that's the nature of eyewitness testimony accounts. Are you done? Finished. You're not uh, going to say that again, right? Because you said, okay, but let, let me let me finish. Uh, I, I, it sank in years ago and it didn't work. That's why I'm telling you. Sure. If you say this is the words of God, then the words of God are perfect. And hysteric inaccuracies where one is wrong because the other, they cannot both be, cannot be the word of God. Words of human in history are filled with it. I agree with that. But that's why we don't depend 100% on them because humans error. When a homicide detective comes out and he asks people if the story is very, then he knows some of them are mistaken. If one says he shot him and one says he shot him, yes, the man got shot. So you just but, but, okay, now you're interrupting me. Now you're interrupting me, right? Now, the homicide detective will say, okay, that means one of them is wrong. One person shot. So that means if you agree that those are historic inaccuracies, that one is wrong, one is right, then you have falsehood in the Bible. You have misread the words to understand that this is the word of God. It cannot be then the word of God because the word of God is 100% perfect like the Quran and you cannot show me one inconsistency in the Quran. But I can show you a hundred in the Bible. Well, so what does that mean? That means that these are the words of men. And as men error, they have those errors. They cannot both be. The rock could not have been not there and there. That means one of them is wrong. Beautiful. And when you see something that has falsehood and you can't even tell me which one is right and wrong, then leave that which is errored and follow that which is perfect. Thank you very much. Have a good day. <laughs> I gotta go. Be a part of the Dawah team. Like, subscribe, share, comment. You gotta do your part for the Dawah.